ChatGPT for business. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do marketing for your business using ChatGPT. It will essentially be a ChatGPT prompt engineering tutorial for business owners, meaning I will share with you step-by-step step my exact formula for using ChatGPT correctly so you'll understand exactly how to use it to grow your business 10 times faster without having to hire anyone. Let's get into it. Since it came out, ChatGPT completely transformed my business. I now, number one, create 10 times content that I did before. I serve five times the clients that I did before, and I earn much, much more than I did before, all thanks to a $20 a month tool. The thing is that most of my clients, I am a business coach and I run a marketing agency, so most of my clients are business owners, online business owners, influencers. They don't really share my perspective. They keep telling me that GPT never gives them the answers that they're looking for and that all of the stuff that it writes for them is super generic and essentially useless. If you feel the same about ChatGPT, let me tell you exactly what I told my clients. And that is that if ChatGPT is not working for you yet, it's simply because you haven't learned how to use it. Because talking to AI is a skill that you need to learn just like any other skill. So today I'm gonna to share with you a very, very simple yet very effective seven element prompt formula that will help you create the perfect prompt in order to get the exact output that you need from ChatGPT every single time. This will make sure that you get the answers that you want and hence will be able to grow your business faster. I'll first kind of like walk you through the different elements and then I'm gonna close up by giving you a specific example inside the ChatGPT interface. So with that being said, let's begin. The first element that you wanna insert into your prompt inside ChatGPT is your expert persona. And that essentially means that you wanna recognize the type of expert that you want ChatGPT to be right now for the specific task that you are now giving it. For example, do you want it to be a world-class copywriter? Do you want it to be an expert in children's education? Do you want it to be an expert social media manager? AI was trained on a huge set of data from all over the internet, so it knows how to do a lot of different stuff. But what you wanna do is out of all of the skills that AI learned, you want it to be able to focus on the exact set of skills that you need for your specific task right now. The second element that you need to input inside ChatGPT for it to give you the exact prompt that you want as a business owner is to give it a specific task description, right? You want to define the exact task that you want ChatGPT to perform, the exact content that you want it to write, right? You want to be specific as you can because the more specific you will be, the better the outputs and the answers that you're going to get back Back from ChatGPT. So for example, instead of telling it, write me a webinar, tell it, write me a webinar about becoming a successful marine biologist, right? Or instead of telling it, write me a Facebook ad, write me a Facebook ad selling my $7 product or ebook about vegan recipes. Element number three that you want to insert inside ChatGPT is your format and your length what kind of format of text you want and what kind of a length of text you want. This will make sure that ChatGPT will not ramble too much or write too little, but write exactly the amount of content, the length of content that you want. So for example, do you want it to write a 60 minute webinar? Do you want it to write 150 characters Facebook ad? Do you want it to write a 250 character social media post for Instagram? Remember, be specific. It cannot read your mind, at least not yet. Element number four to put inside ChatGPT is a clear objective, right? What type of goal are you striving for it to achieve for you? So for example, write me a social media post that encourages comments from my audience, or write me an email subject line that will get the highest open rates you can, or write me an email subject line that will get the highest open rate possible from my audience, okay? ChatGPT needs to know not only what to write, but also what is the purpose of the thing that it's trying to write so that you can align the text in reaching your goals. Element number five is that you want to insert data, notes, or your unique perspective. This is essentially the secret to making sure that your content does not turn out generic or super, super boring. You want to share your notes, specific data that you want ChatGPT to include, or just your general thoughts about a topic in order to make it your own, in order to sound like you and express your unique worldview on the specific topic. The more information you're going to feed inside ChatGPT when you ask it 
it to write a specific piece of content, the more this content will sound like you and essentially deliver what you truly are aiming to say, right? So instead of telling ChatGPT, please write me a social media post about productivity, I'm going to tell it, please write me a social media post about the time blocking method for increased productivity and share how it changed my life where before I was a bum and now I'm super, super productive and I do this, this and this simply by using this specific method. Element number six that you want to add inside ChatGPT is the tone of voice that you want it to use. And this is crucial to making the text that it writes sound like you and not some generic robot. Now there are two different methods to do that. The first method that you can use to do that is to simply be descriptive of how you want it to write. Do you want the text to be witty, controversial, inspiring? A different method to go about this is to simply provide it with examples of how you write things and to ask it to mimic or emulate your personal style of writing based on the examples that you just gave it. And the last element that you want to add inside every ChatGPT prompt, element number seven, is your target audience. And this is crucial because ChatGPT will align itself for the type of audience you're aiming to hit, right? So for example, let's say that you are a personal trainer and you want ChatGPT to write you a social media post that will get as many comments as you want from your audience. It will have to write completely different words if your audience are moms who are just trying to get back into shape after they had their child, after they gave birth, or a 20 year old bro who is just trying to grow in the gym in order to impress the girl that he likes, right? Completely different contacts for completely different people, right? So to conclude, here's the perfect prompt formula for ChatGPT for business. First, you are and add the expert persona you want ChatGPT to be, then add a clear task, format and length and a clear objective. Then say the output should include the following relevant information and add any data, notes, or any thoughts that you have that you want ChatGPT to include in its output. And finally, the writing style should be what kind of writing style and aim towards what kind of target audience, right? So here's an example of something that I put into ChatGPT in order for it to help me to write a Facebook ad for one of my clients. And I wrote, you are the world's leading direct response copywriter. I'm a professional personal stylist. Please create a 250 word Facebook ad inviting people to my masterclass. The ad should be engaging, get as many people as possible to click on it and head over to the landing page where they can register and watch the masterclass. You see, I was very, very clear on exactly what I wanted to write. Now, the ad copy should include the following relevant information. Webinar content. The webinar content is learn my secret formula for uplifting your personal style and your confidence. I inserted the benefits and I added the writing style that should be direct, confident and empowering and target towards ambitious women aged 35 to 50 who juggle a busy career as well as family life. And here's what it wrote. Attention powerhouse women, ready to step into a world where your personal style matches your ambition and confidence? Welcome to my exclusive masterclass, level up your style, elevate your confidence. The secret to effortless style and invincible confidence lies within this masterclass curated just for you. Here's what you'll unlock. Multiply your confidence with the wardrobe, yada yada. Save precious time. Make lasting first impression. Invest smartly in fashion. Save money, yada yada. This is a golden opportunity for you, the go getter woman who's balancing demanding career and bustling uh, family life. Imagine a world where your style amplifies your ambition, your confidence is unshakable, and your time is truly your own. This speaks directly to my target audience. But it doesn't stop there. A tailored wardrobe and a confident self image are more than just aesthetic improvement. These are powerful tools for asserting your place in the world. Don't waste another minute living in the shadow of your potential. Click learn more to register for this empowering masterclass and become the stylish, self-assured woman you're destined to be. This is an amazing Facebook ad and even if it's, let's say it's too long, I can ask it, please make the ad slightly shorter. And in which case, immediately I'm gonna get a shorter version still exactly as I wrote, still with all of the elements that I ask for and the changes that I have to make on this ad are minimal, right? As a result, I can serve so many more clients, I can make so much more money and all thanks to GPT and learning how to use it 
for my business. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions about using prompt engineering for business, leave them in the comments below. If you're looking to learn more about how to grow your business, how to make more money, and how to build the kind of life that you truly deserve, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video because it helps me get the word out about these videos. I'm going to see you in the next episode. Until then, yeah, bye. Oh, quick note. If you like this video, you're going to love my free weekly newsletter, The Digital CEO. Every week, I'm going to send you one useful strategy to help you launch or grow your own six-figure lifestyle business with clarity and confidence instead of hustle and a prayer. To sign up, simply go to natayaray.com forward slash newsletter. It's totally free and I'm going to see you there.